please tell us your name. Uh, I'm Lagi Ming Karina. Me, Doma Yangzum. Name is Doma Yangzum. Uh -huh. His Holiness the Dalai Lama asked us to record your experiences so that we can share your memories with many generations of Tibetans, the Chinese, and the rest of the world. Your memories will help us to document the true history, culture, and beliefs of the Tibetan people. Do you give your permission for the Tibet Oral History Project to use this interview? Yes. During this interview, thank you for offering to share your story with us. During this interview, if you wish to take a break or stop at any time, please let me know. If you do not wish to answer a question or talk about something, let me know. If this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? I have no problems. We are honored to record your story and appreciate your participation in this project. Okay. <clears throat> Amala, can you please tell me how old you are now? Seventy-one. Seventy-one. When were you born? I'm like I Palo de Palo. How come I live in Tibet? Um, uh, uh, we didn't, uh, you know, remember, know yeah. the dates, mm. but I was born in the year of the pig yeah. and I didn't have my parents. Okay. Um, and what village were you born in? I'm not Tong de Mingla Karela, de Mingla. Similar. I'm uh, uh, It's called Palanki. Palanki. Uh, what, what was the nearest uh, villa, uh, the nor nearest monastery or temple? In in our um, region, there was only one monastery, and it was called Zizigomba. Zizigomba. And what and what province was that? Any ah, Palang Didi, amla pugi chioka kadi kundo la ligi yorela. Gulu. Gulu, gulu la ra, chioka gulu ra. The sect that uh, Doto or uh, we belong to uh, is Giluk uh, sect. Oh. Mm. Amla di le chioka lanata. It's, it's a part of Dotu. Okay. And you mentioned um, that you were very young when you lost your mother. How, how old were you when your mother died, passed away? Uh, Mm. Uh, I was told that um, I was just six months old when my mother passed away and she was 32 years old. Mm. Do you, would, would, did anyone tell you what was the cause of her passing away? Ni Amla Larwala, 
Chamana Chijo listen upon Sajo Sri. Pone de Yapama soon in two years. After my birth, I believe my mother suffered from a cold, and then perhaps you know it's more due to the uh, childbirth. Ah. And what about your father, Amala? What happened to him? And Amala ki pala to do your vela. Pala to do pala yore pala to you do your yore yore sara pala amato ni shulo na chini sabati chedo. Uh, yeah, my father was there then, and he took care of my mother. Uh, and uh, uh, later, he remarried. He remarried. And who raised you after your father remarried? I think the the I was uh, seven till I was seven or eight. I was at home with my father, mm -hmm. and then my father took a new wife, and she had many children, and so I was sort of unloved. So then I, I moved to my paternal aunt's home. Mm -hmm. Paternal aunt's home. Did your paternal aunt uh, uh, have other children as well? Ni ani yorwa. Ani la pugu shemba yorwe. Yomani. My paternal uh, aunt uh, didn't have children. She wasn't married. I see. And what are your memories? Do you have any memories of being a, growing up under her care? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I have memories. Uh -huh. can remember. What can you remember about uh, know, some of the things you did as a child, Amla? Like uh, what kind of activities, like play or chores? What are some things? Uh, um, you know, there was no time for playing, but oh. just working. Oh, I, is that right? At what age did you start working? How young were you when you began doing chores? In Amla, that now the robot did it. She lega she wake up the laya. Look, how do you go to the lega she? Oh, lega she a lot of time go to the. I started working at the age of eight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what, what what were your aunts at home like? What what kind of house or property did she live on? Ani amla ki handa ani ani ki nang chior wal. Nang di kande da wuchi ki yore. Ta na otan da yore kono mi ta togo chomu da yore ta. Uh, my aunt had a, a quite a good house, and uh, after moving there, I didn't uh, uh, face any problem. Oh, uh, your, did your aunt ever marry, or did she continue to take care of you as a single woman? Uh, aunt never got married. She took care of me. Mm -hmm. what, what kind of a woman was she? What was she like? Manjo nyo de chos, nasale chos. Tasala. Uh, aunt lived up to till about eighty, and she passed away in Pasa. Mm. And um, you said that you began working at around age eight. What kind of work did you have to do? Ta 
I worked uh, in the commune and uh, earned stars and for three years I worked as a, in a herder for the commune. Mm -hmm. Can you, uh, did you, was your aunt a member of the commune or and were all the people in your village part of the commune? The Chinese established the and everyone was a part of it. Mm -hmm. Do you um, do you remember a time when there were no Chinese in your village? I have faint memory of that. Faint memory. Faint memory. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. what, is, what is your first memory of seeing? A Chinese coming to your village. Mm. Trendro. I remember when the Chinese first came that we fled uh, away and uh, lived in the Zizi Gomba and the next morning while looking out uh, I could see soldiers and I was very afraid mm. and people said that uh, many had been killed. Mm. Um, about how old were you when, you, when that happened? Uh, I was eight. Maybe eight. Maybe seven. Uh huh. Seven, eight. And and lived in the Gompa, the monastery, and lived in the monastery. And Zizi Gompa now lives at Chupeh. Oh. So ma, just like this, and my ma, so ma, grandma no do this. Grandma do this. When the Chinese used to appear in the village, all the people used to run away and hide in the oh. Zizi monastery. I see. Did the Chinese follow the people into the monastery? ใจเลยเลยชื่อเลยโรชนาลายูยาลอเออฉันแทนเตอร์ทรีเดอร์คอสาตะทองอยู่ <laughs> 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 Uh, later, uh, the Chinese uh, entered the monastery and a uh, large number of people were killed and I, I used to be very scared and I have seen uh, the people 
uh, tying the legs of the corpses and dragging them down and then flinging them in the river. Were the, were the people doing that, were they Chinese or were the Tibetans made to do that? The Tibetans were made to uh, do it. Mm -hmm. And Amala, why were they, why were the Chinese shooting the people? Did, did you have any idea? I didn't understand, but only I heard uh, that uh, you know the Chinese they do have Tibetans talking for them, and they were saying surrender, and there'll be no shooting. Mm. And it sounds like if there was shooting, the people did not surrender. That's right. Mm. Then later the women screamed and then people fled, many were killed, and then the Chinese came into the houses. Oh. So if uh, were, were there were there many Chinese, like were there hundreds or just twenty? How many Chinese were coming into the your village and at that time? Kabla <laughs> A large number of Chinese. I was a child and I don't know exactly how mm -hmm. many they were. And then um, they stayed in uh, in the large houses. Ah. Mm -hmm. When you uh, when you went to live with your aunt, can you describe her house? Was it large or small? Was she rich or middle income? Can you tell me about her financial situation? Uh, あの<音><音><音><音> She um, my aunt owned a little house and she lived separately from her parents and uh, after the Chinese um, 
appeared and uh, there was uh, we were a part of the commune and once the commune got dissolved lands were divided and there was used to be a storage that belonged to the commune it was a house uh, that had 25 pillars so two families uh, one being my aunt bought this uh, house so that's uh, for, for for a sum of uh, 1800 uh, chinese currencies mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So when the Chinese came into the village, did they come into your aunt's little house? Did they come after her? Mm -hmm. No, the Chinese didn't come to aunt's house. No. And so when you ran and hid in the monastery, um, and after the Chinese killed people, where did everybody go? Did the commune start right away, or did you go back to your houses? What happened? The Gemi lady gane amla mi mangu jikta chhe gombe nala yip dinde chhewa. Any di jail lab san yam jail di go to re yan di para de la kari chungu yena. Ane para de la la san yam yam de dos sani kanga. Ah ya jail he chara. ね、the commune was started, uh, and when when this was established, uh, all the lands belonging to the uh, you know uh, landlords were confiscated, and then the Chinese appointed activists and leaders, and the houses were given to the poor people. Mm. Mm. And where did your what happened to you and your aunt? Um, my aunt and uh, I, we were given a piece of land. Mm -hmm. And where where were you allowed to live? And it is a kawar dena. This a dena. This a kamba dina rancha. We continue to live in that little house. In, in, in your aunt's house, small house? Yes. Mm -hmm. Later, when I was around 14, we moved to Palace. Um, and uh, moved into this uh, little storage that uh, we, I said, we bought. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was a storehouse. A that storehouse aunt that, that bought. aunt bought. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I knew. Uh, was that uh, was the storehouse bought to store things or just to live there? Anne <laughs> There wasn't much stuff, and so that house was for us to live as well as to keep our little things that we had. And uh, there wasn't much, but uh, we did have some animals. Mm -hmm. And how far away did you move from the, the original aunt's house to the storage house? Was that like a, a big distance or another village? And why did you move? Uh, the 
Because the old house was, um, you know, very old mm -hmm. and it was small, and when it rained, the rain seeped oh, inside. Okay. So we moved to this other house. It wasn't very far, just about a distance of 10 houses away. Oh. So, <laughs> so you stayed in the same community. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, after the Chinese came in and they started a commune, um, like, how long did the commune start after they came in and killed a lot of the villagers? Like, did it start that year or five years later? How soon did it start? Tuya At the time when they came, we had tilled our own lands, and and they came around the second or third lunar month. And by the time of the harvest, they had already established the commune. Aha. So that sounds like in less than a year. Yes. Oh. Yes. Did um, did many Chinese people come in to help you start the commune? You know. The Nyamdel they go to do gane ro amla. They come le ya gami mango le suya. The Nyamdel Nyamle they go to ya gie. Nyamle Nyamle the na gami mama le masu. No lupe le zia koron to onda ya dogre se zina tengu chi yora ya. No, not many Chinese came there. There, there used to be officials stationed over there, so they were the ones that said that we have to, you know, put everything together and begin the commune. And there were no soldiers that came there. Mm. Were the officials uh, Tibetan officials? Mm. They were Tibetan officials as well as Chinese officials. Mm -hmm. uh, can you know? I know you were only a young girl, but do you remember? Were people were people worried or afraid or angry at at, at the change that happened to their village? I'm <laughs> Yeah, there seemed to be fear at that time when the lands and all the things were confiscated and then they were, uh, you know, um, collected together. But later, uh, everything was once again divided and I suppose they were happy. Mm. And when lands were confiscated, and then people were happy later when everything was once again divided. Uh huh. What happened to the uh, owners of those uh, larger houses? 
강과 친구들인데 나쁘 열와 아니면 콘솔 아니 콘솔을 가르쳐이나 그러면 또 친구들 마 친구들 주부들 사는 마자 아 친구들 주부들 야대 우리 여 주부 주부라 제라 달라바 요거네 가와 가와 땅래 주부 주도 강과 친구들 대세래 내가 주부들 마 Kamu cuba dia dek yang cerlo mah apa tu? Mana kat sini senda? Those the large houses were given to the poor people, and the wealthy people were made to go and live in the poor people's houses. Hmm. Did was your were your aunt and you considered among the poor, or were you more middle class? Any. Amelada, Amela ni yorwa. Di kau canggah dosuwe, ni dinga canggah dosuwe. Kau sana rumah sendiri ya kerja. Tapi komanda ji ceri kalah rakyat mana? We were categorized among the middle class and were not given any houses. How did, you know, you would? How did the poor people? Uh, survive when they took over these houses. Were they happy? Did they uh, make good use of them? What was the feeling in the village to see these poor people move into these beautiful houses? ตาคนสุภาพเดียดีกว่านี้คนสุภาพกี่บุตรชงอีน่ะคนสุขังบัดีเพจุยากบุตังอันนี้เอ็นเด็ดทันตาชงเสพดีกี่นางรู้เลย
No, the commune wasn't helpful. Though people worked hard, uh, crops failed, and there was no supply of grains, and people had a very difficult time trying to get loans. And then the commune was forced to buy grains from outside and bring it and, and give to the people. Mm. Why, why did the crops fail? Because the Tibetans had been farmers for many generations. ま、<音楽><音楽> あね、ラムランドで死んがね、で、死んがやっぱまんまんつんだられはやっぱまじゃなかんし、ルトやっぱ、ルチルトやっぱでもすんだ。のんでね、あね、せぺげ、ロンバのルト、ニョハンド。
and for uh, for the midday food uh, my aunt had to prepare a uh, bread and according to the your, your rank you were given a different size of bread and then in the evening uh, it was tupa okay noodle soup so in in the morning it was Zampa. bread uh, Zampa. Zampa in the morning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. afternoon bread and evening tupa Mm -hmm. Was it enough food for people? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 I suppose it was sufficient and we used to you know keep leftovers so that you could eat them when you were hungry. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and what were you doing when your aunt was working in the kitchen? Ani uh ani lagi ta pege tapsan ala chale nang dewa ni di kabla amla khare nang shube. Na na kama chu chu de de yo. I was living in the little house. Commander <laughs> Uh, I was working in the communal fields and uh, uh, every day, you know, for those three times when we had to eat, we must visit the commune kitchen to get the food. Mm. Were you able to see your aunt then? Yes. Uh, this, this must have been a very big change because Tibetan families usually eat together in the evening and now they had to come to the commune. Was there a lot of uh, uh, unhappiness with this new way of having to live? Uh <laughs> <laughs> no, I was a child and I didn't have much thought about that mm -hmm. and also, you know, a lot of people gathered together to eat, so I would be going there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would, uh, was there ever any um, resistance or opposition to living like that? Like, were people, would people get in trouble that you could, that you noticed? Uh, <laughs> This <laughs> Later, people 
people started to complain that um, that the commune kitchen was not a good idea and that the food was bad uh, and it was better not to have the commune kitchen and so then it shut down and people could cook individually in their homes um, uh, but the work continued with the commune farming uh, people were given stars according to the work and uh, all the grain was collected after harvest and then this was divided among the people on the basis of you know whether you were a worker or a ch or a child mm. and at, was it at the end of every uh, growing season that you were given a, a sum what were you given to eat as a reward for your work ถ้าตันตะโกเชดูโกเชยาจอรามอืมถ้าดีอืมคือจือตันตะดีทั้งสุดเต็นโทยาดูรัวดีดีกับเลยาแทงมาจิกเจรัวเอ็นถือจือเ
She didn't like it because she used to complain that it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was there, would you get in any pr uh, trouble if you try to complain out loud? Or was there any, was there any freedom to uh, complain? No, there was no freedom. You didn't have anybody to complain to. And if you had any problems, you would have to endure it yourself. Ah, I see. What, did people get in any trouble if they complained? No. 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 Nobody complained. Uh -huh. yeah. But your aunt was so unhappy, she couldn't have her own freedom back. That's right. Yeah, there wasn't freedom like you had before. There wasn't freedom, I know. Uh, were, were there any uh, uh, punishments if you didn't do your work or obey the rules of the commune? Mubashin <laughs> Maybe she would rather. Manana and Nadis, children, Duma Shu and Dua. That Sebachang and the Jed Tetral. So, 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 Yes, there wasn't any uh, freedom. There was no freedom of religion. And uh, my aunt, uh, she normally used to practice on the full moon day and mm -hmm. for that uh, you know when she wanted to stay home and do her prayers um, she would request for leave the day earlier but then she wouldn't get she wouldn't be excused so i would also cry and say that my aunt was sick mm -hmm. so that she would get leave to stay home on the full moon day and do her practice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where were the monks that used to live in your village or area? Jamie Maling, you're a 
כמעט אני, אני, צבר אנדרש נלחש איתו, נסו סו סו גטע דיידי זה זה. ואתה תעשה לי מאה. אני פה צבר, תעשיתי היה יום הרע, צ'ופה נעשה דאון, תהיה גם את זה. דיידי זה לא נעלה. שינתו נעשו, גר אמרתו לו, נעשה את זה כפי ש... After the Chinese appeared, uh, the monastery was destroyed. And so at that time, there were not many monks, just a few. And some of the aged ones who had not derobed, they would live in uh, the uh, you know, homes of the richer people. And then they would be, you know, like, uh, um, you know, offered to stay in the prayer room. And they might do some planting of saplings and such work. And uh, most of the monks had de-robed and were in lay clothes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. So were there any public religious ceremonies permitted, any kind led by a monk? Or at the, I don't know where, if the monastery was destroyed. Ah, were there any kind of religious ceremonies permitted? Any any ตันตันมาเจอกบปะกบปะตะเมบสื่อชาร์วาลอันนี้เนเกตัวเชิร์ชยาดอกตันติเตยอร์เวลตาตอมเนเชิร์ชเนนาลกุนดาคุชเนน
they were using their power, these people. Yes, yes. Now, if I understand correctly, you spent about 32 years living in a commune. Is that right? No, exactly, because well, the commune wasn't, the commune was closed later on. Ah. But we didn't get to that oh, when it was closed. How, oh, thank you. How long did the commune last, Amla? The Nyamle de Lo Manglu de Na. Nyamle de Lochi de Chides. Ala Lochi Chipon. Lochi, Lochi de Lo. I think uh, the uh, commune was in existence for about three years. Ah, only three, huh? Losum Sriwal. Then what happened to it? Any Losum Tak Dijel and Yamli Mabas Hadun Amla Kachuina. Unless we get a good Shingata Gurwa, so so good Shingali or Munigi. Then you must cultivate uh, the plot of land that you know the two of us got. But so there was no. So then you you were responsible for your own survival. No more commune. No more commune. Ah, no more commune. Uh, did but were the Chinese still in control of your village? Yes, and the the so 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 about 12 maybe? Lo <laughs> Just to summarize, the commune begins around 1960 and, and it ends around 1982. So for about 20, 22 years you lived in the commune. Is that about right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And um, tell us what happened like during those 20 years. Did you get married? Did you meet somebody? Yes, I met a man and my older son was born when I was 25. And did you need permission to have a family in the commune? 
You know, so all those years, that 20 years on the commune, did you continue to work and do farming or did you do other kinds of work? I just continued to do farming till I was about uh, 40 years old. Ah, and was it farming all year long? Uh, and how were the how were the crops? Did were things growing well? Did people have enough to eat? ตัวตัวยากุเกอันนี้มีมั่งเลยค่ะล่ะสายาอยู่ดินดิชงชงสุเวลัยอ๋อล่ะครับเกิดเสด็จเนี่ยสุสุสุเกเกเมลีสิง
Uh, a school was established in my hometown, but I've never been to school. Uh, since uh, I was required at home to work, I was not sent to school. So I have had no education. And, uh, you know, I felt that, you know, I have not had, had no education, but I didn't want that to happen to my two children. So when my older son was 16, I sent him to become a monk here and then I sent my younger younger child when uh, the child was eight years old to get an education. Where? Uh, <coughs> I sent my older son to become a monk at a garden monastery in India and the younger child was uh, educated in Masuri school, he, Masuri. Oh, Masuri. He finished his 12th grade and then he went to college for three years and became a teacher at the TCV school for five years. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, both are uh, sons. Both are sons. And uh, Amla, there was no problem sending your children outside of Tibet for education? Uh, you know, uh, there wasn't any problem, but I had to work hard and I looked after my uh, old aunt and after my aunt passed away, I went back home and I applied for a travel document and then came to where my children were. Uh -huh. And, and how did your children get out of Tibet? Did they who did they go with? They were young children. Pogimatin you know, um, fled through the hills to get out from Tibet and I had to pay, uh, you know, a sum of 2,000 Chinese currency to get my youngest son out here 
um, you know, because it is very difficult uh, if you do not have an education. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It is. And did um, so there was there was no way to leave freely. You would have to go with a guide or go at night with a monk. Can would you like? Is it okay to ask if, if you could tell us how your son, how you how you uh, made your son come? Yeah, there are certain guides that take money and get people out. Right. These, but these are not Chinese guides, these are Tibetan guides. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's enough on that. Okay. Um, and uh, wow. So I, I wanted to ask when, when you were still living in Tibet under the Chinese, could, were there, um, could, could you say prayers uh, publicly? Could you um, have, I don't know, monks come and pray at your home? Uh, what were the death practices like if somebody died? What, what happened now to the body under the Chinese? Um, when I left my hometown, at that time, one was allowed to read prayers and one could also invite a few monks home to say prayers. Mm -hmm. Were, was the, is it forbidden, forbidden to mention His Holiness the Dalai Lama? Uh, yes, Amma, did more Chinese come to your village, or did the village sort of stay the same size? And I'm like a Chongde Nala ya, or Dedi Nala ya. And the Jami Mangbo then did less to be. Yeah, to you Nanda Pevarang yore. Himala eh? Payula, Payula, Payula. I'm like a Tanda Lumba Dilla. Lumba Dilla, Monsieur Pevar, I'm the Jami Mama Shira Yoma de. Jami Jami Lema Swa. Um, the village mostly consisted of Tibetans and there were just a few Chinese officials. Early in the uh, in the early days, soldiers did come, but later they left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Should we let it go? More than an hour. Okay. Uh, Amma, is there? Uh, but I I do want to understand then. How did you make the? Dis you said your children came to get education in India. And then, what do you decide to do next? And then, I'm like, that love jong catch him when he's a puny, that girl to love jong chica tan and ra. And did you learn? I'm like, can't deny him, can't deny him. I know it's in a local little girl, Mamma, the Anna to Bopi, the Anna Puguny, tell him, Dormachi, Jin, Jetu, tell it, Yasaris, tell him. 
Uh, I had worked very hard and then um, uh, uh, my aunt passed away and so I thought you know it would be best for me to come here and get a chance to see His Holiness the Dalai Lama and I decided to come to India. Mm. Okay. Uh, was that recently or what year? Uh, it was in uh, 2002. Uh-huh. And did you see your sons again? Have you seen them? Uh I'm la punigar turwa, kamala leni. Uh, yes, I came here, I saw my sons and my younger son finished his education and uh, through the benevolence of His Holiness, I'm very well here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that's probably about what you were going to do. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to just wait, wait, wait. Uh, so, we want to go back and say, um, just wait on that. So, I think I should ask this again. Mm -hmm. um, Amla, I just want to check again if this interview was shown in Tibet or China, would this be a problem for you? Uh, ตัวเทเลนชาเบกับเลยอ่ะเกจยังยูทีกิอร์ทางกิจิกทีชาเรอ่าเคซีเทเรงทัวเทเลนเชบะเดเพอตะกานาเตมเบยนาอัมลาละ